Hey y'all, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, it's like a family video, so it's going to be like my brother, my sisters, my father, I mean, I don't know if they're going to do this video, that's what we were planning on doing earlier, but they mysteriously had just came, so I guess I'm going to try to vlog them in the video, if I don't, I just know that I try. So yeah, right now I'm just about to walk around the house, do a little vlog, show y'all what's going on. You know, this is just a regular little thing. You know, matter of fact, my daddy packed me. I'm trying to put my shoe on. See, look, we got the dogs playing. Never mind. Hey, the business for the set. I'm just Every day. Sisters. Nephew, baby, and, and my daddy. He's playing here right now, okay? No, y'all. This is just not making no sense. Man, what do you want? Go sit down. Let me sit. Ain't nobody left. Bro, ain't nothing funny. Stop playing with go now. It's hot out here for no reason. Well, how do I get the right light? Go sit this way. Oh, okay. This is how I go. But yeah, yeah. I'm just sitting out here kidding. Is this to be a little hot vlog? Huh? I don't be doing nothing, so I'm just. Show y'all my little regular day. Come on, my y'all, this tree. It's messing me up. Yeah. I should have got yeah. my cell phone call on me. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hi, I can't get the perfect lighting. I can't be sitting in no sun. I might just go get my video started. I ain't doing nothing. Just chilling. Just chilling. This is. <laughs> okay, I love y'all. I'll be back. Mm -mm, before I leave, I have to get the right angle. Right there. I'll be back. Hello. Oh, 
place that was a Chinese My name is Anaya. Why you gotta say it with an attitude? And, and I'm gonna sing the song and then my 
my why are you taking over my channel? They I'm supposed to be introducing y'all. <laughs> That's it, dude. I still got for real. She says she got on here and then even introduce her sister. She say, Hi, I'm introducing y'all to me. I'm Zanaya. Like, dang, could I do it? Yes. Yeah, okay, look. So this little slot right here is gonna be my sister. Let's get a teacher. She wanna Okay y'all, so yeah, this is Zanaya. And this is well, her real name is Lasavia. My bad. My bad. <laughs> this is Lasavia. Y'all know I named her Lasavia. That's why y'all never heard nobody with that name. Lasavia. Okay. I can't go with that name. <laughs> you brushed your teeth? I didn't have to hear Nah, you must have brushed them right. Where you get that sucker from, Anton? Huh? Yeah. Papa, I'm on the plate. I took the makeup off because I have to take a nap. You know, I'm And my camera handle did so. We're going to use some of this video at night time at 10 o'clock at night because they took a nap and they walk. Okay, so this next part of the home, uh, my sister and my baby sisters, these are the two babies of 12, and they have to sing. I told them to write a song for me that they wanted to sing, so we got to see what type of um what the skills they have because you already know you saw wire singers and all that type of stuff come from kids that used to do it all they like they like to sing like the right song just like athletes they come from the boys that like to play basketball with ball soccer and all that type of stuff like Yeah, I've been exercising. My exercise video is coming started. Okay, so yeah, let's get this video started. And let's see what type of song these girls want for me. Because I haven't heard it yet. Okay, y'all, so for the first contestant, first I'm going to introduce my two songwriters. This is Zanaya. And she have her own song that she wrote. And this is Lasavia and she have her own song that she wrote. Guys, I am a sibling of 12. I'm the third oldest and this is two of them, which is the baby. She's nine, eight, eight and she's seven. She's so, yeah. a Gemini. She's a Gemini just like me, which is y'all gonna see that in some of the video earlier. But okay, so first, um, first person I'm gonna have seen, by the way, she's the youngest, but she's bigger than him. So, let's see who I'm going to go first. The first person, y'all got to play paper, rock, scissors. No. Okay, y'all, yeah, paper, rock, scissors. Paper, rock, scissors, shoe. Paper, rock, scissors, shoe. Okay, she won, so you got to go first. Uh, okay, so stand right here, okay, and you tell them the name of your song. What's the Baby. name? Baby. Baby. <laughs> Baby boy. <laughs> Baby boy. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Baby, the way you love me, I love you back so I can stay with you for the rest of the day. Uh -uh. Me, me. Pause, pause, <laughs> pause, pause. <laughs> you have to see Cut. For real, you sound like you reading something. You can stand right there, they can still see you. Okay. You gotta sing it, you're reading it. Okay. 
Baby, the way you love me, I love you back so I can stay with you for the rest of my life. So I love you so much forever and I will not stop loving in you. This sound like a hit to me, y'all. But I know you love me back in the I love you so much I will know you Wait. the way you love me back back I love you it's a good day to love you baby uh -uh. Mm -mm. no you don't even know your song you need to back back and get it together no you don't the next song is Zanaya you are my loved one you are my loved one you are my loved one because you stay up every morning and you give me breakfast every morning you are my loved one you are my loved one because you fix food for me i love you i love you so much so i can't stop loving you and you can't stop loving me because we love each other so much and I can't stop loving you. You're my love one. Ooh, okay. Okay, now this is the give him this is the song she wrote for me. So I'm about to try to sing it. Come on. Okay. Okay. You are my love one. You are my love one. Because you stay up every morning. And you and you give me breakfast every morning. <laughs> you are my loved one. You are my loved one because you fix me food for me. I love you. I love you so much. I don't, I mean, so I can't stop loving you. Ooh. And you can't stop loving me. Because we love each other so much. And I can't stop. I Loving you, ooh, you are my love one. <laughs> That's a good song right in the making. No. Okay, now go. This is the second song. She wrote her song for me too. Baby's away. You love me. I love you back so I can stay with you for the rest of the day. Me, my, me, my life. First. So, 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 I love you so much forever and ever and I will not stop loving in you back in on ever forever I love you so much
but I not will not love you back but I know you don't love me yes you love me cut 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 you ain't singing let me see ma'am ma'am wait ma'am ma'am come here ma'am how do you not know your own lyrics ma'am i don't know okay this is what she said you so can't take <laughs> over her song <laughs> Good up. Ooh. So let me see what part I was on. Yeah. We love each other. Rabbit. So much. Rabbit. Baby. You love me. Love and love. Me so, so much. Okay, now let me sing the we, song that she wrote for me. How how it goes? How you how I'm supposed to say baby the ways you love me? Jemima, please. Sure, these are four ones. Yeah, sure, these. How you sing? You sing. Baby, I love the way you love me. I love you back so I can stay with you forever the rest of my life. I love you so much. I, I will. Watch on. Watch on. Stuck on. I like it. So this is songwriter number two. She's got to learn how to remember her. Um, yeah, that was cause she was we we was I was practicing a little bit, but but um, I, I, that pen what I had it was keep on messing up on right here. You did good on this one and this one and the end right here. I I was sure to make it there, but I want the nine pen so I can um write the word good. Get your little turtle looking at it. You. So, like. Girl, why are you breathing so hard? I need to go. Go, go. Let me show them how dance. You. Let me show them. Girl, get you. <laughs> I don't know why you trying to take all the shine from her. <laughs> now you move and you get in the corner. Okay, now you move. Let her do her. <laughs> Damn, you just love the camera. <laughs> Take it out for it. Take it out for it. No. Gotcha. Thumbs up. Do it again. Do it again. Stop on the game. Take it out for it. Take it out for it. Come back. They can't see. Okay. Take it. Take it out for it, hey, take it out for it. Going some sound like a take it out. <laughs> <laughs> you fake. I don't know so well. Cause she ain't doing that to you. I'm not playing. Not be down talking her. Cause you ain't doing it no better than her. Now you do it. <laughs> take it out for it. Take it out, break. Go and sound stuff like it. Take it out. Girl, you ain't doing nothing. Then they they say you gotta lean upside back, upside back. You doing the same stuff. You talking? You talking about some? 
<laughs> what you get for trying to talk about her? You can't do it. Look like you doing the majors. No. <laughs> no. You ugly. <laughs> Why you gonna talk about somebody? Okay, y'all say Chanel. Y'all say Chanel. Is there anything y'all wanna say? Goodbye. Love, love you. you. Goodbye. Okay, so y'all, the next section is going to be with Tink, Tinka Winky, Tank. No, Deborah. Her name is Deborah. <laughs> Cause I don't know y'all know her name. Her nickname is Tank. Her real name is Deborah. And we going to be doing uh, girl chat, girl chat, sister me advice. Okay, so I I wrote some questions down. It's just like a lot of questions. Some of them is for advice. Some of them about her YouTube. And I wrote I wrote a lot of them down. I wanted to give me some advice about it, and I want to give me how she feel about her YouTube. I wrote everything down in here. It's actually thirteen questions. It's supposed to be 10, but it's 13 questions. And the first one is, okay, you know how when you're in a relationship with with someone, but they, the mother-in-law or daddy-in-law feel, you feel some type of way of them. They give you a type of vibe that- Like they don't like. They don't like, like you. Something like that. Something like that in so many ways. Like they treat you different. Like they treat you, like they don't like you. My advice for that because at the end of the day, if you're in a relationship, they now I'm serious, just because I'm smiling, I don't think I'm not. Okay, for real. Don't, just because, um, okay, you got to realize that you're in a relationship with your significant other. You know, you're not in a relationship with the, the mom, his mama, his brother, his sister, his dad. you in a relationship with him. So long as he, sh like, he, he or she. You know, because she like girls and shit. But, you know, as long as you feel like her, her people, as long as you know that she loves you, it really don't matter what they think about you. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, family going to ride for family no matter if you think they love you. You know what I'm saying? They never going to love you more than they blood. Basically, they can act like you be like, oh, he and that, you this and that, you don't need this and that, you do. I'll let you know a person could be telling you, you don't need her, she this and that. I would have been stop putting up with that or don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I like, don't let them do you like that. And then they can be over here in the other person ear like, you don't need to be with her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She ain't no good for you. You can get somebody else. You all that fighting and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So they could be telling you something like. Don't be with her. And then they could be telling her, don't be with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's day happiness. But long as y'all love each other and y'all make each other happy, that's all what, ha that's all what matters. Like, so everybody else that's, like, in, on the outside looking in on how she might be treating you or how uh, you might be treating her, they on the outside looking in. A person wants to stay nowhere if they was really being mistreated. You know what I'm saying? So my advice to you is, don't worry about your in-laws liking you or not. Because as long as your significant other like you and love you, that's all that matter. Because they're going to have to respect you at the end of the day. And if they talking down on you to your significant other, she going to stand up for you. Or he going to stand up for you. You know what I'm saying? And if he or she don't, you'll know. <laughs> that's so, <our> <laughs> yeah. so my my advice to you is don't worry about if they like you or love you or not as long as they respect you and give you your respect and you give them their respect that's all we have because you ain't got to like me right okay the second one how do you feel about me liking girls what's your advice about it <laughs> How do I feel about you liking girls? Well, you know you ain't the only gay sister. So, and when the first one, 
I took it hard. <laughs> Finding out my oldest sister was gay or whatever like that. Like I just, I was crying. Like she was like, what you crying for? I had, I was so dramatic. Like I was like, cause I, we was in, um, we was in high school. I was a freshman and she was a sophomore. And she was sitting up here buying um, this girl some Valentine's Day. Like my sister have always dressed it like a boy like my oldest sister but she used to try to have a boyfriend or whatever but she used to fight people that try to like her and stuff so i was thinking she was just a tomboy or whatever like that she just didn't like boys at the time so she had bought a girl something for valentine's day and like i was young at the time and uh she uh i was like i just asked her i was like now are you gay you know like on some joking she and she was like you ain't gonna say nothing I was like, no, you gay? <laughs> and she was like, you. Yeah. I was like, diamond, for real. <laughs> I was like, diamond, for real. No, for real, promise to God. You gay? She said, I promise to God I'm gay. Bro, I had ran out the doors. My mom and my daddy stayed in the same apartment. Yeah, I ran out my daddy's house, and I had ran to my mom's house. I was crying, and I bust in the door like on some white girl shit, and like shut the door and put my back against the wall. And I was crying. My mom was like, "What's wrong with you?" And I was like, "Diamond gay." So yeah, like so, how I feel about you being gay? Like I feel like, like I said about the in-laws don't think about what nobody else think about you if you feel like that's what make you happy that's what make you happy but you know that you have the answer to god that's the only person you have the answer about don't worry about what i think about you being gay you'd be like what god think about you being gay and you know it probably be something that you experiencing like right now you know what i'm saying like you can be liking females right now then like 15 years later you probably find you know, you're not fine, but your husband's son probably finds you, or you might just be gay forever. Like, you just never know. But I don't feel no type of way about it. He came in just in time for the third question. Oh, yeah. I hope he'll try to put that mask and stuff out. He'll know. Okay, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't judge you about that. Okay. Um,. This uh, this the third one. I hope I hope she giving some advice about it about me too because I've been having when people I've been thinking like people be thinking bad about me, you know, like judgmental and stuff like that. So I'm gonna ask her about her YouTube and I want to see what advice that she give me on in life later because I'm 19 and I know I still got a lot to learn because I'm kind of all right. I know you a YouTuber and I love everything you do and I support you in every step of the way and I am so proud of you. But what, but what you think, like what you think, what you think about what others say about you and your YouTube? Like what they might think about me? Yeah. Well, I don't care about what people uh, think. I really don't because I don't feel like um if I'm doing YouTube, it's just like if you see somebody walking outside and something or if you see a model like modeling you know certain things you know i do regular clothes i used to do lingerie like they used to be my main things i used to i like lingerie and stuff but youtube i began in trouble so i can't do that but this is just like the stuff that i do on youtube you see people doing it everywhere it's it, i would rather be doing something that i'm getting paid for instead of doing something for like attention you, you get what i'm saying like you know like it's girls that's on instagram say for instance just flexing their body and lingerie all that type of shit just for likes and attention and then it's girls that's like i'm basically doing the same thing but i get paid for it and i'm not doing nothing that'll violate my character you know what i'm saying so it's not like um on Instagram, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just twerking my ass. Well, you know, like, I can't help my type of... Personality? Sex appeal, yeah, my personality, my sex appeal. Like, it's like stuff that I didn't know that would draw attention to my supporters until they start telling me. But that was just me being myself. Me being myself and people like it. So, how I feel about it, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care nobody think because if somebody got something negative to say 
I feel like that's the problem that they have within they self because, you know, that's how I feel about it. Okay, the fourth one is, I was going through your comments and I seen a man say you're a queen. Other women mostly, like, I don't see women under her comments. I don't see women supporting her. I only see mostly men. Yeah, but well, what you think about that? The of uh, all men commenting under your. Oh, you I, I, I get, I get. Um, you saying like my supporters are men? Mostly I men. I don't have that many girls because I feel like I do my my research on YouTube. I seen that coming too. The guy was like, "Uh, this is a queen. Why isn't it?" women that support other women i only see men's coming in under her um uh, under her post uh women should learn how to support women more or something like that but my my uh response to that is i have a little like a small amount of females that you know support me and majority of my supporters are men but when i go and look on other girls youtube and stuff I see some girls like trust me they watch me I know they do trust me they watch my videos they probably don't support me or nothing like that like uh comment and all that type of stuff but I know that they done ran across my video and they they be watching me I know that for sure because on YouTube on your little um and not agnostic thing whatever that thing called you see your watch time the people that support you your new supporters the amount of females that watch you, the age group, all that. So I see that they watch me, but they probably don't subscribe or they probably just don't come in, you know. But I have a selective of ones that be coming, like Sarah, um, Jaleesa. I think her name's Sarah. I think it's Jaleesa. Sarah. She does. She know all y'all. She know y'all name because that's her name. Uh, it's another one. She haven't uh commented in a long time though, but I forgot her name. But she know who I'm talking about. But yeah, I got a selective amount. But sometimes like females don't support other females because I don't know. Cause I'm very supportive of of, of other women. Like I know I support them, but. I can't answer that question. It's probably mostly men want to support me because that's probably the type of support that I'm supposed to have or something. I don't know. They yeah. like my videos more. And the thing about it, I'm never too, I'm never super sexy in my videos. I'm always goofy. You know she's what I'm herself. saying? Yeah, that's it's probably like, why. I can you know some females be like, "Oh, she doing too much." Yeah, like I'm, I'm very goofy. Like I be playing and shit. Time. Like I don't, I don't sit up there and try to be serious the whole time. Like you would click on my my thumbnail, and then you wouldn't even know what's going on behind that thumbnail because you think I'm gonna be a very serious person, like from my thumbnail. But when you click on the video, I be goofy as hell. Like, uh -huh. Y'all should see who we get it from. Like for real. Uh, number five. When you first started your YouTube channel and it wasn't going nowhere at first, how do you, like, what you feel about that? Like, how you feeling about it? Well, the reason why my YouTube channel wasn't taking off when I first wanted to start YouTube is because I wasn't being myself. Like, that's the thing. Like, you supposed to always be yourself no matter what. Because I did my research on YouTubers. Like, I was trying to be just like them, talk like them, all that type of stuff. And I wasn't going nowhere. So, I had uh, d not deleted all my videos, but I made them all private. The ones of me not being myself. And I posted my very first video being myself. And I just took off. I hit, like, a thousand subscribers in, like, two days. I want to say like like less than a week I hit a thousand subscribers on my very first video but acting like how I act I was at first when I started I was like yes guys and then we're gonna do this <laughs> and then you know like I was not I was acting like I thought I was acting how I thought I was supposed to act like all the other people up on YouTube but when I had started being myself I just took off Okay, what's, what's your advice about me when I was doing bad in school? Should I should like took it more seriously and stay focused and not having no friends or nothing? Or I just could have just been myself? 
it being yourself cause a distraction towards your uh, education. You got your priorities messed up. You should be able to be able to have a social life, have friends, but know that your education come first, and know that at the end of the day, I'm gonna get my work done. You know what I'm saying? Either y'all gonna talk to me after I get done with my work, I can chop it up with y'all for a little bit, but I still gotta get my work done. You know what I'm saying? You gotta remember, you come first before social, before friends, before all that. You know what I'm saying? And education is the number one key to success. You gotta have an education to be successful. Okay. When you got when you got farther into your YouTube and you seen your subscribers had shot up, how you feel about it? Made you feel excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was happy. Like, I was so happy to do my next video. Like, I couldn't wait to do my next video. And I was just like, ooh, I'm gonna do this video. Ooh, I'm gonna go buy me some clothes. But I didn't I didn't pay attention to the community guidelines. And I was just doing basically what I've seen everybody else doing, but I was just putting my own personality into it, you know? So, I was excited, like, Cause you know, people be thinking YouTube is just easy or you can start a YouTube channel and then your, you know, your subscribers like just shoot up, but it's not that easy. I thought it was that easy too, but you gotta remember it's like a million YouTubers. You gotta be something different to make, you gotta be something different to make that person press the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? So therefore be yourself because it's not a lot of people like you in the world. Cause you made in your own unique way you know what i'm saying so as long as you be yourself they gonna support you that's why i don't care about my support <laughs> <She's being, next laughs> for real that's why i don't care about my supporters being mostly guys because they more chilled anyway you know what i'm saying when i first started youtube females was the main ones down talking me and you know yeah. that because she used to go off on females that were talking about <laughs> talking about um i had surgery like my booty wasn't real. They was talking about my titties. Like I'm sorry, they was talking about my breasts. Talking about uh, they saggy or whatever. They was talking about my uh, my living room couch. You know, it's like that's just females that's not happy with themselves and they see me as a threat. That's how I look at it because basically, I know. Yeah, that, basically, what I looked at it was like they jealous of something that she got that they don't have. Like she she goofy, she talented, she sweet when she want to be. She. She a good person. You say she a good person. She might be mean sometimes, but she got a big heart. That that it takes times, but she got a big heart. And I think that it looked like the other girls was like, nah, she didn't see that. I don't like, like basically down to her because they thought it was going to make her fall. And it didn't. She stayed on toes, as you can yeah. see. And like most of them, like. And y'all still watching this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they subscribed to my channel too. Like, I had made, I know I made a couple of enemies when I first joined YouTube because. I could post a video in one second. In one second, I have at least about five dizzy lights. You know what I'm saying? And this, my video will be about 20 minutes long. And the video haven't even been posted for a minute. And I have five dislikes. So that means I have these negative people that don't like me. They subscribe to my channel. You know, so it's like... I know that they were saying that type of stuff to stop me from doing what I'm doing. Or make, you know, try to belittle me so that... I could stop, you know, but I don't care about what people think about me because as long as I find myself beautiful inside out, you know what I'm saying, and I know that I'm not doing nobody wrong, you know, the reason why they should be probably trying to be that way towards me, like, I don't be careful. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Hobby. <laughs> okay, what made you push me farther, what made you push me for, uh, farther in school? Because what that's what big sister's for. You never want your little sisters to take your footsteps. Even though I'm not bad in life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a clean record. You know, like, I finished school, but it's like my shit. You know what came back on Y'all do too. But, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like, you know, and just because I'm like this, I'm not going to, you know, the only thing I always tell my sisters is to get your high school diploma and to keep your record clean. No matter if you have that high school diploma and you don't go to college as soon as you get out of school, because I know some people be wanting a break, you know what I'm saying? But as long as you got that, you can always go back to school. You can always become somebody, get a good job and stuff. That's what I always say. So I really stay on my sisters about school, and it's mostly hard on her because she lived with me. 
So it's like I be really, cause I is she like my responsibility? Like her mom passed away when she was like five. So I'm my daddy, like oldest daughter. So you know, like that left the responsibility up on me. I have to make sure that I make sure she in school, she graduates, she protected, healthy, you know, eating good. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that because if her mama was here, that's what her mama would do. So that's what I'm here for. You know, that's what we're supposed to do. I'm supposed to make sure that you're not slacking. And if you is slacking, I got to make sure you get back on track. I don't know if I be saying it in a good or in a mean way or what. But if I say it in a mean way, that means I'm not playing. That's it. I don't be trying to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> but I just know. You know what I'm saying? A female always look good with her own. No matter what your significant, you know, your spouse may have, no matter what they have, as long as you got your shit together. Because, you know, you don't want nobody throwing nothing in your face. You gonna take care of me, okay, you choose to take care of me, but I don't think I can't get my own shit. You know? What do you see yourself in a few months when Russell come home? Where do I see myself in a few months when Russell come home? Mm -hmm. I hope he do come home in a few months. Hope you're a prophesier. <laughs> but I feel myself. I feel like I'm gonna have to learn him over because we haven't been together since we was like 20 and 21. We 25 and 26 right now. So I feel like we gonna have to get to learn each other again. I think that plays a big role in us arguing right now because we on we gotta get to learn each other more. But I feel like we're gonna be good. It's gonna make it's gonna take us to want to have the patience and all this stuff to put up with each other and learn each other differences and stuff all over again to make the relationship work. Your goals with him in life too. My goals with him in life, well, I wanna open up businesses. I want to get my twig card, I wanna start working in a chemical plant saving money and stuff like that then i want to go to school to get my business license so that i can open up businesses for him he was saying that he want to get like his cdl truck um truck driver's license and buy you know get an 18 wheeler so he can be like working for, like running his own trucking business i wanted to open up a carpet cleaning business and um house cleaning like business and stuff like that Stuff like that, just really wanna work for ourselves. Really, it's a lot of goals. But the first thing first is when he come home, I wanna get a real good job. How do makeup make you feel when you do your makeup? Like I be ready to take it off because <laughs> <laughs> that was the answer I expected. I thought she was gonna say a new person because she just she just started doing makeup and now she good at it. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh like that. Yeah, I get proud of myself every day when I do my makeup because it's starting to get it, it get better and better every day when I do it. But when I wear it, I be ready to take it off because you know I be falling asleep in the middle of nowhere and stuff, and be I be like this a lot. And I don't want to get up and my dang on fingerprints and my cheek <laughs> and stuff. So uh, that's it. But I like I like doing it. I'm happy that I'm able to do it. I'm happy that I know how to do hair and makeup. You know, so I don't have to depend on people or spend unnecessary money to go get beautiful. I can just go buy me my hair and buy me some makeup and do it myself. And don't have to pay nobody $200 to do my hair. Uh, a $100 or $85 <laughs> to do my makeup and y'all don't need them. Right? Y'all got in the family already. Right? Um, this is going to probably be like the last question. How did music make you feel when you listen to it on you sing? Do you feel like a new person? Does it calm you down? Or does it take you into, like to a whole different world by listening to music and singing it? I, I want to start listening to music because I'm not a big fan of listening to music. But I be, I think I think I, I'm not a big fan of listening to music, but when I sing, yeah, I, I like my own music. When I sing, it makes me like feel good. Like when I'm mad, like yeah, I be like on a whole Madeira, like a Madeira fucking movie. Like for real, I be mad and I just start singing. Like he got me fucked up. How you gonna do me this way? I be giving you my own. 
And you don't call me babe Boy, you wrong, oh Now yeah, she in her zone again You do <laughs> me suck down cold No, y'all, I just like singing, like, for real But yeah, y'all, that is good this video And it is now coming to an end We have another part to do, but it's nighttime It's 12 o'clock So, and we gotta sing on that one so i'm i'm gonna think about picking that part up on another day because mm -hmm. i know this video all over the place y'all done seen me from some long hair this the same hair though i just braided <laughs> it y'all done seen me from with some long curly looking crinky hair with a full face of makeup on now i got braids that face <laughs> with eyelashes yeah but still popping yeah, I tried to keep the eyelashes on for y'all. I tried to keep the eyelashes on for y'all. I ain't want to be y'all the way just like I just gave up on the video. Because I really did give up on the video. I was like, I'm going to just do this some other day. But my little sister's like, not her, but the other two that just up out of here. They kept peeking around the corner. I had to sneak and take a nap. Kept on like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, y'all. Don't mess up y'all hell. We're going to do the video. I was sleepy. I got sleepy early. And my head started hurting. But yeah, y'all, that's the end. Showed y'all my family and stuff. What was going on in my day. Just a typical, typical do. <clears throat> Just a typical uh, day in Crystal Ink little world. That's it. Did you say B? I said typical, <laughs> typical T. <laughs> I couldn't even pronounce it. But yeah, it's just a typical day in my little world. You know what goes on. We packing and stuff. So soon y'all gonna be seeing an empty apartment tour of our new right on and then y'all gonna get a fully furnished good large stay the same and we're gonna be happy because i'm gonna be having more space to do more videos for y'all and stuff like that i'm gonna be comfortable so yeah just wait on it i love y'all y'all also need to comment down some ideas quit saying penny sticks penny sticks y'all know i'm not gonna do that i've been doing youtube for like a year now I just made they complain it. about the lingerie sometimes. Mm -hmm. so, Y'all need to go outside the box and go find something else. If y'all don't mind. Because I'm not going to do no penny uh, haul. I'm just knocking on demonetization though. Like, demonetize me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know these people don't play with me. But yeah, y'all. And they'll answer though like this. Okay. Yes. Check. You're off. <laughs> <laughs> you're you want to talk. Y'all should be playing like this. For real. She like, for real, y'all. We can't. I can't. I really like. I, I wouldn't even want to do no uh, panties, lingerie, hogs. I don't see the point of that. But I love my supporters. I don't care if they was animals. Like cats and dogs. I'm still going to love my supporters. They're going to be like, why you don't have no humans? <laughs> Supporters, all your supporters <laughs> is cats and dogs and dolphins and shit. I would still entertain my supporters and love them because that's who love me and support me. The females don't love me and they don't support me. So I don't care because if that's the case, I have almost 40,000 males. And you know, like I can't leave out the female supporters that I do have, like Sarah, Jaleesa, and it's, I forgot the other one name because she don't come in no more. But you know, I still love my female supporters, the ones that do, you know, support me. So, I'm just grateful. That's it. Definitely. And that's on dot, dot, circle, big dot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love y'all, y'all. We sleep. I'm about to get out my daddy name and stuff. Me too. Because I know he brought from me. No, he ain't. He ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. He ain't nothing.